Hello everyone and welcome back to a new Tidbit session. My name is Daniel and today I want to show you a parametric truss that is programmed in C-sharp. The programming is hidden in the C-sharp component here and is called the truss maker. It is possible to switch between different types of trusses. Here the prod, the warren, the warren with verticals, the K truss and the fear handle. Additionally, the subdivision can be adjusted with the slider here. The truss maker only needs two curves as an input, the upper and the lower, and it doesn't matter if the curves are from Rhino or creating Grasshopper. If you're familiar in c -sharp scripting and want to take a closer look at the programming of the truss maker, you need to download the GH file from the video description. Now I would like to start with a Grasshopper input. I create the bottom chord and the top chord here with this component. The prod and the k-truss have to be mirrored for a meaningful structure. For that, I use a C-sharp script from Garcia de Castello. It is the normal mirror component from Grasshopper, but have an if condition as an addition. That means if the type prod or k truss is set, the structure is mirrored, otherwise not. The wine component here makes it easier to categorize beams and to assign cross sections. Pay attention to the data tree here. We have three branches. The index 0 is the upper, the index 1, the lower, and the index 2 are the diagonals and the pots. I plug the lines into the line to beam component from Karamba and assign the upper and the lower to the cross section of an I beam. I combine the diagonals and, to, and the pots into one beam type and call it web and assign them to the cross section of a rectangular hollow cross section. To determine the supports, I explode the data tree of the line container and only output the endpoints. The supports have no movement in X, in Y, and in Z, and the rotation in beam axis is prevented. The connections of the webs are moment joints in Y rotation. The loads are gravity and a constant block load with 50 kN per meter on the upper. All these inputs came to the assemble model component and then can be analyzed. The force distribution can be seen very nicely in the Rhino viewport. Red is compression and blue is tension. And when I go back to the truss maker, I can compare the trusses with each other based on deformation and weight. Remember, if the type Warren of the handle is set, the lengths have to double. As mentioned at the beginning, it's also possible to import curves from Rhino. I prepared this here in the white group. An example is a rectangular truss. I can bake a curve and set one curve. To interactive here with Rhino and the truss maker, I can move the line or I can move control points. Another example is an archway. I use these curves. You can also play here with a subdivision. And if I want the Warren with verticals, I have to use the curves on the right. In addition to the trust maker, I want to introduce the trust maker recursive. This one. The trust maker recursive can be used for large geometries. You can see it here. The programming is similar to before, but a separate truss 
is created from each individual line, thus repeating itself. The TrustMaker recursive has an additional input slider for the minimum member length, a maximum recursive depth, and a slider for the height. You can see it here. If you are interested in the scripts, download the GH file from the description and construct your own truss. Thank you and goodbye.